we'll get straight into it. Number one, you want to get your regeneration phase right. So make sure that you recharge the batteries. And that's really, really important in your off season, particularly those that have been pushing pretty hard in the preseason um, this year. So make sure you get at least two weeks off of completely no schedule, no structure, and just go with what feels good on each day. That way, when you're back into your preseason training, you're raring to go and your motivation levels are fully topped up. So that's really, really important. I can't reiterate how important that phase is, is the importance of just having complete rest uh, and just going with what feels good for each day. So that might mean an F45 session, obviously don't do anything silly, uh, CrossFit, boxing. Um, and when I say silly, like not doing a thousand plyometric jumps, um, not doing like burpees, anything that your body doesn't agree with or you're not used to and, and doesn't feel good at the time, um, pick something else and mention it to the trainer or the coach and they should be able to give you an, another option. But really important to mix it up. If you do feel, if you love your running and you, you feel like going for a run on a day because it's super sunny and nice, then go for a trail run. Don't just go to the footy oval and, and do the same old thing. Mix it up. So variation is key over the next two weeks if you're in your off season. And for those that are, um, just come off a, a grand final, then completely just rest for a good couple of weeks, have no expectations. Uh, for those that have been on break for a couple of weeks, then it's time to start to ramp it up. And in a second, I'll go through what your gym program can look like, uh, anywhere between three and four uh, total body sessions where we're focusing on basically your um, increasing your range of motion, so lifting through range, uh, and that will also help elicit a bit of hypertrophy. So build some body mass, build some uh, body armor, which is really important when you're going into uh, the competitive sport of Australian rules football. This week, we're going to have four live chats. So we've got our Queensland ambassador, Jasper Fletcher. It'd be great to chat to him um, before going into the draft. He's just at the pointy end of his rehabilitation and ramping up his running loads now and getting ready for the combine. So really looking forward to that chat. That will be on Tuesday at 4 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. So make sure to pencil that one in. Our interview that we're doing with Alex Moore, who's worked at the Brisbane Lions as a strength conditioning coach during their heyday, during the premierships. He then went to over to America for the US uh, skiing team and also worked with the Cleveland Cavaliers during LeBron, when LeBron James was there, Kevin Love. Uh, and then he came back to Australia, worked with the Kangaroos, and he's now working in the NBL with the Illawarra Hawks. So... Super excited to have uh, Alex on to share his stories with us, uh, not only for the strength and conditioning coaches that want to work in elite sport, but also for athletes. He can learn some tips and tricks as he's clearly worked with the world's best athletes. That will be that podcast will be released next Wednesday. And then 11.30 a.m. on Thursday, our second live chat for the week will be with Joshua Manuel. He is a strength and conditioning coach for the Adelaide Crows. So really looking forward to, he focuses on the first to four year players with their strength and power program. So looking forward to discussing the philosophy at the Adelaide Crows. They're a young developing team that had a great year. So looking forward to um, catching up with Josh and, and talking about his role there. He's been for, there for the last couple of years. On Friday, we have David Misson, who's worked in elite sport for well over uh, a decade now, been Melbourne Football Club. He's now over at uh, rugby so as a high-performance manager. So looking forward to catching up with him. That will be 3.30 p.m. on Friday. And then our bite-sized episode will be with Adam Earnshaw. That was a co recent collaborative live chat that we had uh, a month ago with high school strength and conditioning coaches. So he's working at Campbell. He's their gym coordinator uh, and talked about the importance of high-energy high octane and making sure that you really set the tone with your session, your coaching sessions with a game uh, at the start of every session. So for those coaches wanting to boost the engagement in their sessions and the fun factor, make sure Adam's an expert at that. Make sure to tune in on Sunday.